guys, HM613 here, back more, Spyro the Dragon. In the last episode, we ended up um, completing Stonehill and Dark Hollow, and now we are off to Town Square. We're actually uh, on our way so close to being uh, the Artisan world, like, um, we only got two more worlds, including this one. And, uh, just a reminder, yes, there is a uh, thief in here. Well, not really a reminder. Because I never told you about it until now. Now, Town Square was the first time I played this game. Was uh, the first level I skipped uh, getting all the dragons in. And let's free Nils. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. I freed you already, and I... Something's not right. He looks exactly like the dragon I just freed. That makes no sense, alright? This game makes no sense. And these bulls, I believe you can't charge them, so I believe you have to flame them. But yeah, first time I played this, I did not get every gem, because I had no idea what I was doing other than trying to free dragons and uh, fight Nasty Nork. So I was just going through every warp room, or I mean world, whatever. And, um, you know, etc. Now, you cannot jump up here because they're too high. Man, this is, like, this game did not include double jumping at all. I believe the first game where you could double jump was, uh, Spyro a Hero's Tale. Man, double jumping. That's an, that's what we free Devlin. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? I believe another dragon told us about that. Yeah, another thing about the dragons, they tend to repeat what other dragons steal. And here's like, a, I think that's what you call another thief, or he kind of looks British because I saw, a, not British, uh, French, because he's it looks like he was wearing a Paris hat or something. I hear the thief up there. Try and climb up that fountain because I believe that's how you get up there. Let's get this chest. Fried chicken! That's what Sam from iCarly would say. Yes, I watched iCarly when I was a kid. It was alright, but. Ow. I liked it, but. I mean. Dan Schneider show. Oh my God! Dan Schneider shows were all right. I mean, other than uh, Zoe 101, I didn't really like that show. But at least it wasn't as bad as Sam and Cat, because that show was straight up trash. But all right, let's free Av Alvar. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief. And he's stolen the dragon egg! You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded! Alright, calm down, calm down. I'm gonna get the thief. Now, that's the dragon I skipped on getting. The first time I played that game, because I had no idea how to get there. And I'm gonna have to puzzle this, or... Can I actually, like... Yep! I did it! Now, back to Dan Schneier's shows. There's one in particular that we all know by heart. Drake and Josh. Man, me and my dad, I, this might seem pretty, like, uh, not really cool, but if you don't think it's pretty cool, it's whatever, because we, we like doing it. The theme song, we would, me and my dad would always sing the theme song. I, I just love Drake and Josh. It's probably the only show that taught me how to grow up. And I, where's the thief? Uh, is he over there? I'll get back to him later. I, I'm just now these you have to, you cannot charge. I'm gonna get the bull first. You have to flame them a bunch. Yep, we get a gold gem, and we freed Thor. Are you the god of thunder? Thank you for releasing me. No problem. Yeah, some dragons will just say thank you for releasing me. It's pretty short. Now, back to finding that thief. He's right there. Oh, he... That's not even fair, alright? 
you cannot do that, alright? If I, if he can super jump, then how come I can't super jump like that? He's like a frog, right? Let me get some chickens, because I'm about... Sparks is green right now. Eat the butt. Eat the barfly, Sparks. Alright. I'm going to get you, thief. Why do you even want to steal dragon eggs? And we just got another one. I'm not really sure what the total of dragons... Dragon... Ugh, dragon eggs are in this game. But are we done with this? Yep, we're done. We completed the entire... Wait, did we? Just to make sure. Yep, we completed Town Square. Now off to the next world, which is our very first boss in this game. And let me tell you guys something about bosses. They are easy. Like, most of them are like uh, three hits, including Nasty Nork. But there's one where it's only one hit, and he's pretty pathetic. And what's what's really weird is it's not the first boss that I'm talking about. It's uh one that's near the end of the the game, and he gives the most gems out of all the bosses. Yeah, like each boss you have to collect gems, and their name. The worlds that they're in are named after them. And the bosses give you gems. Yep. And, uh, where was it again, I believe? It was right here. And the boss's name is Toasty. Toasty! I'm just gonna play the original one right now. Toasty! Yep. Alright, and yes, it's just like a real world. I almost fell off the cliff right there. And let me tell you guys something about here. It's one of those things again. These dogs, alright, flame them, then run away. Because they will jump and ground. Like, they will jump on you and attack you. Like, these dogs are pretty annoying. Uh, they can be pretty scary, too. Alright, jump and... Okay, oh! I died. Wow. First death in the project, you guys. Yep. Okay, wow. I cannot believe... I don't even know how that happened. The game just messed with me. Okay, yep. See, dogs can be annoying here. Man, these dogs are kind of pretty scary. Reminds me of Cujo. Man, Cujo is terrifying. I know, I know it's kind of weird to take it from someone who's who's really into horror movies, but just Cujo is terrifying. Like a dog who eats people. Ugh. But just to inform you kids, it's just a movie. There's no such thing as a killer dog. Except these kind. Yeah. Right there is where uh, the dragon's gonna form. It's a dragon we have to save. He's gonna form us about the first boss. Okay, that that does not happen. That's it. That doesn't happen. And I am out of spark. So one more hit. I'm gonna die. Okay. Yep. I need some animals. Okay. But I need animals to, need to burn other than dogs. The ones that give me butterflies. Again, Insaniac hates animals apparently. No! Yeah, apparently you have, you have to burn them twice. Please don't die against this. I don't want to lose another life. I already lost. I already died once because of a stupid coincidence that happened. And I'm about to go to a boss with no, with no sparks. But it doesn't really matter anyway. Because when I get that dragon, it's gonna get a checkpoint. I almost got hit there. I thought I was really gonna get hit there. 
Alright, we freed Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Oh, does he? But he's no match for Spyro, is he? Alright, here he is, Toasty. Some jack in the. Some. Ah! Some jack o' lantern head with a sickle. It's like a. Reminds me of the Scarecrow from Batman. But not the Arkham games. Because he's way different than the Arkham games. Now, just flame him. He gives you a blue gem. And he has more dogs here. Run away from them all. I gotta say, the dogs here are even harder than uh, Toasty. And what do we get after we burn him the second time? He's actually a sheep on sticks. Now, be informed, he can still attack you. Yep. I think I'm actually going to get him. Let me just burn the dogs. Oh, I just beat the boss anyway. And the, the other dog. And that takes care of Toasty. Let me just get the other gems. And with that, we beat Toasty. And with that, I'm in and off right here, you guys. So, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my channel, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace!